genuinely an incredible privilege and honour to be shortlisted, let alone won uh, the, a category in the biggest photographic competition in the world. Being able to enter an award which will uh, hopefully uh, give your work um, you know, sort of a, a wide audience is, is always appealing. Very surprised to win the Photographer of the Year. Obviously absolutely delighted, a little bit lost for words. Um, but it's a huge, huge honour and for this type of work to be recognised as well, it really does mean an awful lot to me. If you're a winner or even a shortlist, like so many people can see your work and it's difficult these days to get your work out there and so it's just a perfect platform to um, have your work shown around the world. I'm, I'm humbled by the acknowledgement. It's always good to know that uh, you, your work um, you know, sort of has an audience, I suppose. Why would any photographer enter the biggest photographic competition in the world? And just to have your work on a global platform like this is uh, money can't buy opportunity. Say there's an advice to photographers. If you want to make work, don't do it to win awards. Do it because you have to and you want to. Don't worry if you haven't studied photography, it's definitely not necessary to create a strong body of work. To be brave about it, uh, not to take the c categories in a very strict sense. Just be yourself because, yeah, that's the only way we can produce something which is original and, and recognised by other people. I think that if you have a story that you feel is, uh, is strong enough and that you think could could make it, uh, don't hesitate to, to enter and just if you have strong enough work you should, you should show it to as many people as possible. I think it's really important for yourself is to enter these competitions with only the work that you really strongly feel about and, and believe in. What's so great about the Sony Awards is that it really embraces creativity in a very wide sense and photography in a wide sense. So some of the category winners are not necessarily what you would expect, which I think is what makes it very interesting in terms of one of the kind of leading awards in photography.